The emotion starts right now on Mari. When I open the envelope, who will hear you are the father? At 16 years old, I found out I was pregnant. And then he said he wasn't the father. I can't be tied down to a baby that don't even belong to me. What are you so upset about? I'm never dating on the Eric. You are the father. <laughs> Michael shot Jessica by hooking up with Jessica's best friend, Akeisha. He has done nothing for our baby. He's the father. He's the father. I want to be a stepmother. Okay. Michael. Janiqua says her son is denied because Prince is with a new woman. Janiqua's own sister. She says you're pinning this on him because you're just jealous. Jealous of her? That's right. That's right. She wishes she had my man, my looks. But when it comes to this baby, which sister is right and which sister is wrong? Prince. Okay, I understand. <laughs> it's an hour of the most shocking DNA results we've ever seen. 17-year-old Megan once dreamed of going to college to become a pediatrician. Today, she has dropped out of high school, is a single mother, struggling to raise her four-month-old son, Brayden. All of Megan's heartache is because this 18-year-old, Eric, refuses to acknowledge paternity. This is her story. At 16 years old, I found out I was pregnant. I was lonely. I was scared. I didn't know what to do. I missed out on a lot of stuff that I really wanted to do. I'm sorry. I wanted to finish high school go to college and be a pediatrician. I never thought I would be a teen mom. In the beginning, Eric was there for me for my pregnancy and it meant so much to me. Sadly, Eric's support did not last. When I was seven months pregnant, Eric started denying my son, Brayden, and now he calls my baby ugly, retarded, stupid. Through this painful ordeal, Megan's mother, Jeannie, has been by her side. The minute Megan told me she was pregnant, it broke my heart, and I knew that I was going to have to be the one to take care of her and Brayden. I have done everything for Brayden that Eric has not. I'm only 17, and I can't do it by myself. OK, we're going to talk to Megan's mother, Jeannie, in a moment. But first, you actually married the guy yeah. when you were pregnant. Brayden then called your baby names? Yeah. What Ugly, retarded, stupid. Oh! He's seen pictures. Never You're held not right. But if he's calling Brayden ugly, he's, he's ugly himself. Before we hear from your mother, Jeannie, listen to what Eric had to say. I'm only 18 years old, and I'm not even ready to be a father yet. I have my whole life ahead of me. I can't be tied down to a baby that don't even belong to me. I know Megan was cheated on me. I wake up in the middle of the night, and I'll hear her talking to these other guys on the phone. Megan wouldn't even let me see Brayden when he was born. Why would I even think he's mine then? Megan is a bitch, because all she does is lie. She lied about cheating on me, and she lied about Brayden being my son. I can't stand Megan's mother. She needs to stay out of my life. This is none of her business. I just graduated high school. I have my own goals, and I'm not going to let Megan pin her baby on me. Seen this baby? No, she wouldn't let me see it. What are you so upset about, baby? You said you're 18, you're too young to be a father. Eric, 
You say you're 18 and you're too young to be a father, right? I'm 17, yeah. Eric, and I'm a mother. But you can't stand up and be a dad. You can't do it, Eric. You no There's never been a moment that you should have ever been out of that oh, baby's life. Why would you call somebody, first of all, a baby? Why would you call a baby terrible names? You've ne never seen the baby in your life. Because it's retarded, that's why. I never call him names. Stupid, all, all, he has no common sense. I said he was a mistake. Oh, a mistake. That's it. Well, why should I take care of a baby that's not even mine? Eric, what well, what happens if it is yours? If it is yours, you going to take care of it? Yeah, I'll take responsibility. You will. And take no. care of the baby. Yeah, okay, I will. you will. Say about All that. Right. You're gonna get a job? I promise that, yeah. Okay. This is what Jeannie watch. Eric, how dare you use the excuse that you're a teenager why you can't take care of Braden? Whether you like it or not, you made this baby with Megan, and you're gonna take care of this baby. Eric, you're a worthless excuse for a man. And if the world was flat, I'd push your ass right off of it. It makes me sick to my stomach that you deny my grandbaby. Here's Jeannie. Jeannie, come on out. <laughs> What are you up in his face about? He's a liar. He's a what? That's all he ever does is lie. I'm not a liar. Yeah, you are. That's all you know how to do. Well, it's not your business anyway. It anyways. is not my business. It's my daughter, and I'm supporting him, not you. What part of that do you not understand, Eric? You're just a stupid That's all you, you are. You know what, Eric? You talk in your mouth. You smack your bump in your gums a little bit too much. Maybe you need to learn and listen. You need to grow up, boy. You think that baby looks like you? Yeah. 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 And I supported you for a year, so don't tell me my business. All right, Jeannie, is it this more? Yes. Okay. When it comes to four month old Braden, Eric. You are the father. I'll say it. You me. are the father. <laughs> just, take, just take care of that child, okay? Yeah, I will. All right, that's all I have. Shaniqua says her son is denied because Prince is with a new woman. Shaniqua's own sister. She says you're pinning this on him because you're just jealous. Jealous of her? Right. She wishes she had my man, my looks. But when it comes to this baby, which sister is right and which sister is wrong? Prince? Oh, Mario. Okay, <laughs> I understand. Michael shocked Jessica by hooking up with Jessica's best friend, Akeisha. <laughs> It's an hour of the most shocking DNA results we've ever seen. Everyone, this is Sonequa. Now, when Sonequa discovered she was pregnant by this man, Prince, she says... Ooh, that He's a punk! She yeah, says okay. Prince literally vanished. It turns out that Prince found a new girlfriend who... <laughs> And that girlfriend did not approve of Prince having a baby with Sonequa. So who was the girlfriend? Sonequa's own sister, Keisha. Oh, that's right, that's right, that's right. That's right, that's, right. that's, right. that's, that's my own sister. That's my that's right. sister. That's my sister. You're supposed to be my sister. He is nothing, nothing. OK, OK. And you chose him over me. Okay, so Sonequa, sit down. So today, guess what? Baby Emil. Emil, yes. A my beautiful sweetheart. little baby. Look at my baby. 
Look at my baby. He's a year old, and Sonequa is dead set on proving to Prince and Keyshawn that Prince is a meal's dad. Watch this. Today, I will prove to my sorry ass baby daddy Prince and his girlfriend Keyshawn, which is my own sister, that he is the father of my son Emil. Prince got me pregnant, disappeared, and showed up nine months later dating my sister and denying my baby. The only reason he is denying my baby is because of my sister Keyshawn. She is filling his head up with lies. She is my blood. How dare she deny her own nephew? I love my sister, but she has ruined our relationship with her lies and jealousy. When I prove to that low-life ass prince that my son is his baby, he's gonna start treating my baby like the king that he is. You know what Keyshawn says? What? She says you're pinning this on him because you're just jealous. Jealous of her? That's right. That's right. Let me tell you. Find your baby daddy. Find your baby daddy. Jealous. Jealous. Let me tell you. Last night, I get a call on my cell phone. Oh, don't tell me. Oh. Oh. Whatever. 10 o'clock, I get a call. Anonymous. I pick up, hello. Yo, Keisha, what's going on? I'm like, who is this? It's Prince. Crazy. What you doing calling my phone? I am crazy. Not... He said, man, I got to talk to you. It's very, very important. She crazy. I'm like, OK. She is crazy. He comes over to the hotel. He said, look, I do not want this mess to go on. I really don't. I really would appreciate it if you don't clown me in front of the in, on, on television. I said, well, look. Well, that's not a bad get... I won't do it. Last night and how honey, he suckled, okay? Crazy. 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 Really crazy. Right, that's, what? that's what it is. That's what it is. That's what it is. That's what it is. do, Maury. Okay. And then, You're crazy and you need help. I need help, bitch. You need to go find no, you something you to do with that. No, you need help. Take ugly ass. It's an equal. What happened to this? What happened to this blood thicker than water Man, stuff? Man, blood is thicker than water. I am. You just want to you're jealous. Well, you know they had things to say, right? I'm sure they did. Okay. Here's what they had to say. Watch this. I'm Sonequa's sister, Keyshawn, and I'm here today to let her know that my man, Prince, is not her baby's daddy. I made a huge mistake when I slept with her for one night. Now, she's trying to pin her son Emil on me. I know how my sister gets down, and I know that Prince is not the only person she was sleeping with. Sonequa's such a whore. She's willing to get in the bed with any man. One time, she got stuck in Indiana. She slept with a truck driver just to get back home. She's pinning this baby on me for the simple fact she wants her sister's life, which is me, point blank and simple. She wishes she had my man, my looks, but she would never be me. Here they are, Prince and Sadiqa's sister, Keisha. Here they are. This is how I, I'm going to give you a bit of a pass, all right? All right, right more. You didn't know she was pregnant. No, I didn't. Until she was eight or nine months, right? That's right. That's correct. Okay. And she sees you driving, yeah. right? Yeah. And then when you saw that she was pregnant, did you say, oh, uh, is that my baby? Or did you just move on? What I just kept moving on, Why? you know? Because she get in on these girls and bust down, man. Come on, man. Everybody knows in Chicago that she's a bust down. I'm a bust down. You know but I'm a bust baby. down. Keyshawn. Yes. Your sister? Yeah, that's my sister. Blood. I love my sister. You love that. I do. I love my sister. Well, is it, did you know each other love like this all your life? Or, or I mean, we have our problems, but I love my sister. I know you. But had... she a bosser. She a bosser. What does that mean? I mean for people who don't know I what a bosser is, is a, a, a runner. She runs the streets. You a runner that's too? A is. I learned from that's the bosser. Never no runner. Friends, friends. You knew she was pregnant. 
So when you walk in the door with Keyshawn, she doesn't know the two of you are together. Does and she, she knew she all the time. I didn't know. I knew I wouldn't have acted like I did. You didn't you know, check the message. Come you didn't check everything. No check, check what, Matt? Do I have Man, my Man, you ain't never been together calls? in the first place. No, you, you just did what you quit. did That's best. You Prince. did what you did best. One time you slept with her? One time. With protection. Come on, what you talking about? I'm a bro. Man. The rubber Whatever. broke. You did. How many Whatever. times? We slept together twice. One time. One time. In May Prince. 28th. Don't go. Is... 2007. Don't go. Don't go. Don't go. Prince. Don't do it. This is your child. You take care of this child. Of course I will. Okay. That hoe ain't gonna I'm a bad man all day. He shot. He gonna take care of us. This is your, this is if this is his child. He gonna, gonna take care of my nephew. If that's his child, he's gonna do what he's supposed to do. And you're gonna be in your nephew. Yeah, you come yeah. on. Yeah. Well, you know what? What? That don't mean We're gonna nothing. find out. Right. Guess what? Take so much. My baby is gorgeous. He ought to be glad that I I'm know. letting him say that. my I baby look like this. In the case of one year old Amil, Prince, come you on, are come on. not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I understand. Sonequa, we'll help you. If you want to find the father of your child, we'll help you. But it's not, it's not, it's not him. Lori, <laughs> this is so crazy. This I know, is crazy. I know, I know. But here's something DNA is DNA. I know. Keep <laughs> shine, but that's still the still, I, I, man. I, I told you that but it no. was, I said. So, you still no, take his side, though, but I don't I still matter. I take his side because I knew, I knew. But you're my knew, sister, Keyshawn. We know the results now. We know the results now, so all you got to do is just move on. We're going to do what we got to do. The baby going to get taken care of regardless. What happened after the show was so shocking, we sent a camera crew to her house. My husband is not the father of your baby. How do you think he's denying her? shot Jessica by hooking up with Jessica's best friend, Akeisha. The results are in. You are the father. <laughs> this Father's Day, do something special for that man in your life. Show your appreciation for all the hard work and sacrifices that your father has made. Thank you, thank you. Enter to win a personal Father's Day message from me for that father who has everything. Happy Father's Day. It's an hour of the most shocking DNA results we've ever seen. This is Taisha, everyone. Now, two years ago, Taisha gave birth to a beautiful baby girl named Sajeda. Now, almost immediately, this man, Corey, began claiming he was not... Corey said he was not 100%. No, 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 no. He was 2 billion percent sure that Sajeda was not his daughter. Now, to top it all off, once Corey saw baby Sajeda, he called her a horrible name that still bothers Taisha today. What was the name? Maury, this fool had no audacity to call my child a bastard. Oh, wow. Oh. Here's Taisha's story. Corey is a sorry, pathetic, no good excuse for a man. And I'm here today to prove that he is the father of my daughter, Sajada. I know this is all because of his new wife, Tawana. He was dating her before me, so I get that's why she's jealous. My baby looks just like me and Corey. She's a perfect mixture of the both of us. Tawana wasn't there in the bedroom, so she don't know what she's talking about. She needs to get over the fact that me and Corey slept together and stay out of me and my child's life. Corey and 
and Tawana, listen up. When the results come back that Corey is the father, it's time to face the truth once and for all. Now. But you see, Corey is not here alone because Corey has brought his wife, Tawana, here. <laughs> He says 2 billion percent he's not the father. 2 billion percent? Man, I don't even need a number for how sure I am that he's the father. Come on. Yeah. He's the only man I'm Now, are you surprised Tawana's here? Man, boy, I don't know her. She never seen me before, and I've never seen her. Come on, man. Why she even a picture of you before, so I don't have to see you. So, has Corey done anything for Sajada in two years? He ain't did nothing for her, not at all. How you gonna sit up there? You ain't gonna get it. Come on, man. Why do you think... Why do you think he's denying her? I truthfully, I think he denied her because of that Google eye bitch, right? He told my producers, he said the condom got stuck. Guess what? This is what Corey and Tawana had to say. Watch this. I am here today because I am 2 billion percent sure that I am not the father of Taisha's baby. I met Taisha on a phone chat line. I called Taisha for a one night stand, and now I got a crazy bitch trying to say that I'm the father of her child. To make matters worse, she's trying to involve my wife, Tawana. She's just trying to break up our marriage. Taisha, my husband is not the father of your baby. So Jada looks nothing like my husband. She doesn't even look like Taisha. No telling where the hell that baby came from. Taisha, I'm gonna make this short, sweet, and straight to the point. I am not your baby daddy, so leave me and my wife alone, and good luck with your search. Here they are, Corey and Tawana, here they are. Get down to you, Maurice. Please. I have two kids. Right. They're yeah. light brown skin. This baby is Coco Chris. She is a dark baby. Oh, yeah, Maury, let me it break it down to you. You are your Taisha, be quiet. Listen, 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 Mark. Before y'all jump on her side. She know that I'm a good father. Yeah. I don't blame her so that she want a good father but you in her don't life. Take him mind, so don't no, jump on her side yet. Yeah. Let's get the DNA. So right. so right. right. We're gonna find out oh. right now.
then I know if you're the father, you take care of this child the way you take care of your other one. That's right. I take care of my other two. Like he take care of his other two. Okay. Right. When it comes to two-year-old Sajeda, Corey, you are the father. I deserve an apology. I'm gonna be a big man. I deserve an apology, apology from you too. Wait a second. Wait a apologize. second. Let him apologize. Okay? I apologize to you. I was right. wrong. We apologize. Okay? I'm gonna take care of this We're child sorry. just like I take care of my other child. That's it. I apologize to you. Apologize. Very good. Very good. Michael shot Jessica by hooking up with Jessica's best friend, Nikisha. <laughs> He's a father. I want to be a stepmother. Yeah. Michael. Come you on, are come on. Not. What happened after the show was so shocking, we sent a camera crew to her house. You are the father. Get off my stage. It's an hour of the most shocking DNA results we've ever seen. This is Jessica. Now, when Jessica gave birth to her daughter, Peyton, she, she was so excited to start a family with her fiancé of four years, Michael. But... But right after Peyton was born, Michael shocked Jessica by ad abandoning her and then hooking up with Jessica's best friend, Akeisha. Oh! Then, after hooking up with Nikisha, he began to deny baby Peyton as his. What? I am here today to prove to Michael that he is the father of my baby girl, Peyton. He promised to be a dad, and he has done nothing for our baby. He says I cheated on him. He is the cheater. He is so low, he left me to marry my best friend, Nikisha. Michael is letting Nikisha run his life because he thinks that's what she wants to hear. Michael and Peyton look exactly alike. They have the same face, eyes, and hair. She looks as she could be his twin. Ever since Michael left us, Peyton crawls around the room looking for Michael saying Dada. And I'm the one who has to say Dada's not here and it's not fair. I will prove to Michael that he is the father because Peyton deserves to have her dad. What, what, are, you, what are you more angry at? That he left you for Nikisha or that he denies your baby? I'm more angry that he denies my daughter because that's what his wife wants him to do. Oh, is that it? You don't think you don't think that, that that that's coming from him? You think that she's the one who's influencing him? No, because the entire time I was pregnant, he was with, he was around, he was in my life, he was with me while I was pregnant, he right. was in her life for the first four months of her life, and then after he got back with Nikesha, he started denying my daughter. Oh, I see. In other words, he didn't deny this baby till the baby was four months old. True. He he was in her life. He was there in the delivery room with wow. me. He signed the paternity papers. His name is on the birth certificate. He you wanted her. You think they look alike? You think you think uh, Peyton oh, looks yeah. like him? Look, she has the same eye color. She has the same hair color. Same facial features. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure that Michael has. Why he thinks he's not the father? What did he say? He says that I cheated on him numerous times while right. we were together, and I never once never cheated that, on huh? him in four years. Yes, she did. Yes, well, she did. He's back now. Here's his side of the story. I know I'm not the father of Jessica's baby. She needs to stop blaming my wife, Nikisha, because this has nothing to do with her. Jessica has said herself, I am not the father. How much more proof do I need? This baby looks nothing like me. I'm not the father and I won't take care of this child. Jessica is using this baby because she's still in love with me. She thinks this baby will get me back. She needs to know that's not gonna happen. Today, I'm gonna prove I'm not the father. All right. Here are Michael and his wife, Nikisha.
Why are you so upset? Why are you upset? Because she keeps trying to bring her husband. Baby. You don't think it's his baby? No, I do not. Why not? I cheated on him. So what? I never once cheated on him. Okay, whatever. Michael. They were best friends. Best, best friends, but... Right. Why'd you leave one friend for the other friend? What'd you do that for? Because he loves me, that's why. <laughs> Michael, you came here to say something to Jessica, right? What did you want to tell her today? I just need you to leave me and my family alone and stay the hell out of my life. And what happens you if you... What you happened? need to be in Peyton's life. What no, he it? doesn't. Huh? I told you a million times. Nikisha, what is the father? Shouldn't he get in that child's life? Yes, if he's that father, if he is the father, I will mother and I am going to make him. When it comes to 11 month old Peyton, Michael, you are the father. <laughs> I get along with you for the sake of Michael being in Kate's life. It's a start. You okay? What's wrong? I just want to see my daughter. Come on, you all right? You all right? Her son is denied for one reason. Ernest's sister, Jeanette. She wasn't there when I slept with him. She was not there. The results are in. You are the father. This Father's Day, do something special for that man in your life. Show your appreciation for all the hard work and sacrifices that your father has made. Thank you, thank you. Enter to win a personal Father's Day message from me for that father who has everything. Happy Father's Day. It's an hour of the most shocking DNA results we've ever seen. This is Jessica. Jessica is heartbroken that her ex-boyfriend, Ernest, continues to deny her eight-month-old son, Ernest Jr. That's not me. Now, that ain't me. Jessica says the number one responsible for this emotional drama is Ernest's sister, Janetta. You see... You see, it was Janetta, the sister, who called the show. And Jessica blames her for putting so much doubt in Ernest's heart. Listen to what Ernest and Janetta had to say. Watch this. Jessica, I'm a trillion percent sure that my brother is not your son's father. Jessica, when I let you move in with me, I know you were sleeping with one of my friends, and I know one of them might be the father. Back in the days, I didn't think how, how dirty you was because I was in love with you. But when I found out you had four kids with four different fathers, I knew you was a hoe. I'm going to protect my brother from a nasty, trifling bitch like you. You would stay out until 5 o'clock in the morning, and I know you was creeping, because that's what hoes do. Today is the day that we find the truth, and when we do, you better back off. I want you to change his name, leave my family the hell alone, and go find your real baby father. What do you think of that? She wasn't there. They look alike. Yes, he looks just like his sister. He knew. Yeah. So you and Ernest were going together. He knew. Yes. Yes. We we were together for like two years. I know him for eight years. If I am to say it, I was say it out. Janetta was the one who made the call. Yes, I don't know why she was not sleeping with us. She was way in New York while me and him was in VA. You need to you need to get a reality check, bitch. Yeah. You're a bitch. Did. Yes. Me and, me and his sister was close. They gonna lying, apologize man. when this fraternity says the same. You a liar, man. Yeah, you a liar. Be a man. Be a, a man. Okay, Jessica. You a hoe. You a hoe. You a hoe. He is a man. Yes, 
Did that. Ernest say to you he would never he would always be there for you and your yes, son? Yes, he said that he would ne he would never leave me and my son. He loved us all forever. We're gonna bring him out here. All right, Ernest Panetta, his sister. Here they are. <laughs> Pictures. That baby don't look that like me. Man. First of all, you see that mo on his head? What? None of these people That's in my that... family got no mo That's on their head. That look like him. This look like somebody that was in the crib at my crib. Get out of here. Hey, my son, get out of here. Whatever, man. You a hoe, man. You a hoe, man. You a hoe, man. Ernest, you a hoe. Ernest, did you say you? That you would be there for that child because you've seen all these guys who never wanted to pony up to take care of these kids. Well, I, 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 well, that was until I found out what type of girl she was. Really? It's because no, he no, 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 did you or kill? Did you four different men? Did you or did you not say that you did not want a baby? Jeanette, Jeanette, now you ain't telling me about it. You ain't telling me about it. You ain't telling me about it. Get out of here. Why, why are you in this, Janetta? Why? Because this my little brother, and I'm gonna back him up from any little thing like that. If this baby is your brother's, I want you back in the life of that baby. Yes, I and I want y'all to go apologize to him and kiss him on his feet. When it comes to eight month old, by the way, if this is your child, you'll take care of this child. Yes, I will. It's got your name. Yes, I will. When it comes to eight month old Ernest Jr., Ernest. Is his sister right or wrong? Ernest. Come you on, are come on. Not. <laughs> what happened after the show was so shocking, we sent a camera crew to her house. You are the cop. Get off my stage. It's an hour of the most shocking DNA results we've ever seen. So you and Ernest were going together? Yes. Yes. We, we were together for like two years. I know him for eight years. That's what I have to say. That's what I'm saying. Did Ernest say to you he would, ne he would always be there for you and your yes, son? Yes, he said that. He would, ne he would never leave me and my son. He loved us all forever. Jessica, when I let you move in with me, I know you were sleeping with one of my friends, and I know one of them might be the father. Back in the days, I didn't think how, how dirty you was because I was in love with you. But when I found out you had four kids with four different fathers, I knew you was a hoe. Why, yeah. why are you in this, Janetta? Why? Because this is my little brother, and I'm going to back him up from yeah. any little thing like that. When it comes to eight-month-old Ernest Jr., Ernest, you are the father. <laughs> Choose your stuff that you didn't do. Yes, I'm sorry. Jessica, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I am. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. I miss Hi, you. Boo. Hi, Boo. Hi, Juju. Hi, Juju. I miss you, baby. Come you on. Are come not. on. <laughs> what happened after the show was so shocking, we sent a camera crew to her house. It's an hour of the most shocking DNA results we've ever seen. Janiqua says her son is denied because Prince is with a new woman. Janiqua's own sister. 
She says you're pinning this on him because you're just jealous. Jealous of her? Right. But when it comes to this baby, which sister is right and which sister is wrong? Come you on, are done. <laughs> what happened after the show was so shocking, we sent a camera crew to her house. Hi, Maury. It's me, Sonequa. Since then, I've apologized to my sister, Keyshawn, and now we're working on making our relationship stronger than ever. I hope to come back with two more men. So, Maury, I'll be seeing you soon. Bye! Not the fuck. <laughs>